welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, just keep watching. Okay, so I had talked about this palette on Snapchat and I had said my husband is a huge Pirates of the Caribbean fan. So when this palette came out, I just felt like, hey, how fun. Let me check out something from Lorac and see what I think. Now, I haven't used their eyeshadows in a hot minute because I just don't like the formula as much as I used to. I used to be a huge fan of Lorac eyeshadows. I had pretty much all the palettes. I still have a few that I hold on to for nostalgic reasons, but for the most part, I've decluttered everything from my collection because it's just not something that's appealing to me. Anyway, the this palette came out pretty recently. It is limited edition. The movie does go into theaters May 26th, so this is definitely out early for all you pirate fans out there. And uh, basically, I was doing some research on this, and it's basically inspired by the pirates, and they even included a black eyeliner, so you can create your Jack Sparrow-inspired looks, because you guys are all familiar with Johnny Depp and that, like, intense black liner look he always goes for so I can definitely see that they went with the theme here um, you know it's very cool toned um, and very sea and piratey inspired now this is the pro eyeshadow formula and it contains 0 0.36 ounces of product and retails for $52 this has 18 shades and um, yeah I just think it's an interesting palette. Um, now the collection also contains um, some lip creams. Those retail for $26 and they also did a cheek palette which was $30 and that contained six brand new shades. Now I did see, um, what's her name? <sighs> I'm totally blanking. Emily, um, she was like, what is this for? So actually I saw some other reviews and it's for the blush palette. So if you're really into something like fun and like treasury, you can definitely stick your blush palette in here in the eyeshadow, which makes it pretty nice for traveling because a lot of people that I've watched review this product say like, this palette is so unnecessarily bulky because it really does take away from the Lorac aesthetic, which is very sleek. Their palettes aren't big and clunky, and this is definitely the opposite of that. So um, just so you guys know, it's definitely like a collector's palette. This isn't something that you can really use every day. It's definitely more of that collector vibe. If you're a big fan of the movie and things like that, I can see you really getting into this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this palette first so we can take a look at some of the shades and then I will come back and give you my thoughts. Okay, so I did swatch the first two rows. So this first shade is Ghostly, Starry Night, Compass, and then we have Arrgh. And then we've got Black Pearl and Yoho right there, the last one. And then on this hand I have Bones, Silver Mist, Treasure, Tell No Tales, Shiver Me, and Cursed. So these are really beautiful. The shade Black Pearl definitely reminds me of like MAC Blue Brown pigment. And then, you know, the shade Starry Night is definitely like an ocean shade. Um, they're not the most pigmented, but that's, you know, kind of the rock formula. Very buttery, uh, very um, crumbly almost. Um, that's what I felt like when I was swatching these. Another thing that I realized as I played with this all of last week was that it didn't really have like my perfect transition shades. Like I'm not really into like the gray transition shades, like something like Bones that somebody would use on a regular. I like those warm transition shades, so it really didn't have something like that for my skin tone. There is this beautiful like brick shade called Treasure, but it has glitter in it, so I couldn't throw that in my crease. I don't usually use glittery shades in the crease. Um, Tell No Tales is like a purpley shade that I could definitely use in the crease, but again, there's no like warm browns in this palette, so it's definitely not something I would gravitate towards. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the last row for you guys. Okay, so this is the last row of the palette. So I have Maybe, Lost at Sea, Pirate's Chest, and then I accidentally swatched Menace first. So the black shade is Menace, or like, it's not a black shade, it's like more like a really, really dark green. And then I have Sea Haze, which is actually above Menace in the palette, but I accidentally switch them around. And then Silent Mary, which is like a beautiful, like, almost purpley gray shade. So, again, very pretty colors, just not the colors 
for me. Okay guys, so for my thoughts on this palette, like I already mentioned, I do think the packaging is really bulky. Um, it is definitely not going to be very travel friendly for you and it's a little bit heavy too. So I would definitely keep that in mind. I'd also mention I don't feel like this has a lot of transition shades for somebody like me with my skin tone, maybe even darker. I definitely think this is going to be a cool girl's palette. Like if you're into cool tone shades, this is going to be your go-to palette. For me, not so much. I do like the eyeliner that they included. The formula on this is really amazing. Like I would love to keep this. <laughs> but the palette is definitely not one of my favorites. Um, I can see, you know, somebody that's really into collecting movie palettes and like, you know, things like that, Disney palettes, I can see that for you. But as far as me, for everyday use, I would never gravitate towards this palette. Um, I really used to love the Lorac formula, but again, like I had said, I have definitely gotten away from their formula. It's a little too powdery for me, and I just like my really, like, um, like really buttery formulas. Those are my favorites, but I do know a lot of people really like Lorac. So if you are into the Pirates movies and if you are into the Lorac formula, I can definitely see you picking this up, but if you are, like, on the market for a new neutral eyeshadow palette, I definitely don't see you picking this up at all. Okay guys, that is all I have for my Pirates of the Caribbean review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day guys. Bye!